Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We are working to episode 14 of My Hero Academia Season 7. What yes. happened last time? We saw a fierce fight between Shigaraki and Deku. Yes. Deku unleashing all of his abilities, the meta abilities. And uh, it, I mean, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful display. Um, and now we're diving into episode 14. So, let's go. Let's go. This is like a water painting, you know? Yeah, it is. Maybe a flashback? It looks like a memory. Mm. Oh, yes. Okay. Who is being attacked? Is it? So, yeah, they showed it in the preview, you know? Yes. This episode the thing on the no. He was an outcast from young age. Oh, so this is we're going back a little. Oh, yeah, they have to because obviously all the fights are happening at the same time, you know. Did you see what he said? They want a free Kurogiri. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess it's one of his prime. Um, Companions, right? He needs his abilities. The teleport is so important. Yeah, but also with him, they would be able to get everyone back yeah, together. Yeah. He's, a, he's a prime ally. Wow, 15,000 people. Mm. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Laura Chow. Oh, a barrier. No! No! Stop it! Who saved him? Oh. Thanks, Anima. Yeah, I don't think they work or they belong to, um... All for one. No, it's just uh, they had enough because what they just mm. said, you know, everybody that doesn't look human. Yeah. Oh no. Oh! He's not a traitor. But I have to say though, you can understand why they're upset. Right, and listen, yeah. I think it's also a great representation and a great reflection of society that if you don't look a certain way, you're automatically treated differently. He's like a cheerleader. I mean, can you actually be mad at them? They're just fighting back. You know? But then you have other figures like the school director, you know? Like yeah. Who's well respected. Yeah, but see, they're still outcasts. Yeah. I mean, you can see some are still not accepted, you know. He seems to be a cheerleader. Uh, try leaving the city and you'll see. So outside of the city. Yes. Ooh. Do you think he can still think? Or he just lost all control now? Oh, that's a good question. I think he's still him, no? I think he's still in there. But also at this point, I don't know. Maybe his animal instincts have taken over. Because look, the mm -hmm. eye actually yeah, looks yeah, the best. My mind keeps going blank. You're completely right. Yeah, it's almost like a zombie. No. That's bad. He's just a puppet, you're right. Yeah, he's just following that one order. Oh wow. Let's go. Oh no, look! They're... They wanna kill him. No, where is the rest of the team? Ah, oh, that was him! Was that his flashback? So sad. Mm. So sad. 
What an incredible attack. It's like a shockwave. Wow. We've never seen his face before. Not he really. Wears he, the he covers face it. Covering, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he covers it. Mm. Don't have a plan. Oh, is he losing it? What's going on? Oh no. Who cares? They're like, no, 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 Oh, he gave him two, two additional points? It looks like it. <gasps> oh, what is this? It's like an armor. He's turning oh, into a Stegosaurus. Oh. oh, he's coming with that sword. Oh no! Oh, no! He lost the hand. Yeah, lost two hands. Wow, he looks like Venom. Sozika! <laughs> <laughs> it's nice though that they have this moment as a team, as a group, no? I love how they're dedicating an episode to both of these characters, no? <sighs> it makes sense now that these two wanted to protect it, no? Because they knew that heteromorphs would attack. Mm. So it would make sense to be there. Because they are heteromorphs. Mm. <laughs> Let's go. This is so cute. Oh, look how he looks. This is so cute. He's like, she's like, make sure to get mad. I love that. It's 
finally get rid of him. Yeah, just fly him away, some mm -hmm. far away, you know? Ah, oh, you can break oh, it. Amazing. Break the armor, yes. You can break the armor? Spin, I need to break after this. Very good point. Don't let them take advantage of your scars. Oh, they attacked him? Oh, they attacked because he rescued her. He touched her. My god, he's a mess. Okay. So they're following him still. <sighs> oh shit, no really asked. That's the end? Oh. I mean, episode 14. What good do you think? Episodes. It was a good episode. Um, yeah. It's nice, obviously, to see the other locations, the mm -hmm. other battles. Yes. Um, and to see some characters that they usually don't focus, focus on. on so much. Yeah, the know? character development is pretty good. So we saw, what was his name? Shoji. Shoji. And Anima. Yes. Koda? His name is Koda, no? Who? Koda? Anima is his hero name. His oh, name is Koda. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And. Um, both of them obviously going through similar struggles, right? Mm -hmm. Because of their appearance, they're yeah. somewhat outsiders. Shoji more so, right? Yeah, because they did show in this flashback, obviously, that Shoji didn't grow up in the city. No. Right? He was in a village, but uh, was Koya? Koda. Koda. He did grow up in the city. Yes. So he had a completely different yes. experience growing up, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's almost like, yeah, if you grow up in a city, like, people are more accepting. Right, more open-minded. Yes. And then we also see some really cool fighting. And we see also how Spinner continues to mutate or develop because uh, O for One gave him two yeah. quirks, two additional quirks, actually. Maybe um, he gave him even more. And we didn't know. Yes. You know, there was a moment where I thought, could there be something else? But also you see how Spinner isn't really Spinner anymore. No. Right? And he says it, actually. So he's fully aware of what's happening to his... Um, his conscious, his mm. his mind, he's like, what did he say? My mind was blank or something, no? Yeah. So I wonder if it's something to do with something that All for One did to him. Maybe. Or if just for someone, for another person to deal with like more than one quirks. Quirk, it's too much. Yeah, yeah, because you're you know? not designed to have more than one to two maybe. Yeah. Uh, especially if it's not your quirk, right? So it's it's mm. it's a stranger's quirk being implanted into you, yeah. which um, I wonder. And obviously, you see here, Spinner just follows this main directive. You know, go into the hospital and save Kurogiro. That is the main directive, yeah. which again has been given to him by um, All for One, and they all follow him, right? They call him spokesperson. Um, and interestingly enough, there are a couple of moments where I thought. They're actually not going to follow him, right? Because they were questioning his motive. They're very unsure motive. what exactly. to do, right? But like they're listening to him, mm. and but they continue to follow him. It will take a bit more than just like one little speech, you mm. know, because they have also, they have so much hatred. Yes, they do. I, yeah, I get it. I get it because you know if you and they said it in the city, it's somewhat alright to live as a heteromorph, mm. but outside the city. You know, yeah. they're outsiders. We saw, obviously, Shoji growing up, and then he rescued that girl. Mm. Instead of thanking him... They beat him up. They beat him up. Yeah. Um. Right, it looks like they are gonna... I mean, what's his name? Spinner is in the hospital. Yes. Right, so um, they're, they're probably gonna come very close to Kurogir, and who knows, who knows, they might free him, actually. Maybe. Do you know what would be the best thing? Tell me. If he's freeing... Kurogiri, mm. but then 
maybe he did transform you know maybe he changed. He, he changed yeah and he will recognize that um president mike actually was one of his Friend. friends yeah, yeah yeah i thought that as because well. they did talk to him a like lot. a lot you know they were like trying to make him remember yeah. his past and everything yeah and there were a few moments i what was it was it last season mm -hmm. where it seemed like they were breaking through or, or, or reaching him yeah know? but then um, didn't but but, but but the actual body of Kurogiri is also dead, so who knows how much of the actual person is still yeah. in there. Anyway, we'll probably see more of that next episode. So this was episode 14. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for being back with us. Episode 15 coming this Saturday. And we'll see you for the next one. Okay. Bye.